When you're designing in Canva, your artwork will typically be made up of both vector and bitmap elements. Vector elements are easily editable, so you can change colors like this. Bitmap elements are essentially photos made up of tiny pixels and therefore harder to edit, but can contain much more detail like in this photo. Text is a vector element, so it's editable, which is of course very handy. The reason I mention all of this is because there are two different types of export settings depending on if your design has text in it or not. I'll be showing you these in detail shortly. Firstly, we need to check the artwork's OK. The most important thing to check is that your design is the correct size to ensure your final print won't appear blurry. You can do this by checking here and changing the size if needed. Just make sure it's the same size or bigger than your final printed sticker, then you won't have any issues. You also want to check that fonts are legible at a one-to-one -one scale, not only when zoomed right in, like you can see we are here. To check this, make sure you view your design at 100%. This text is nice and big, so it doesn't cause any problems. Now that you're happy with the design, let's export it for printing. This first example includes editable text, so we'll use specific export settings for this type of artwork. Firstly, click Share, Download, File Type, PDF Print, and we need to select Flatten PDF. And what this does is it turns your design into a bitmap, which is made up of lots of little pixels, so it cannot be edited. We then choose CMYK colors, which is best for printing. Now this is a premium option. So if you don't pay for Canva, I'll show you how to get around this later on in the video. Then we click download and I'll show you what this looks like in Illustrator in just a sec. Here we are in Adobe Illustrator and I've imported the design. And as you can see, it looks great. Nothing is editable because it's a flattened PDF. So it's turned it all into tiny pixels. I've also exported the design as a non-flattened PDF, so it keeps it all separate. And as you can see here, I get this error message telling me I haven't got a font that's in the design. See here how it's changed the font for something that doesn't look the same at all. And this is the problem with not flattening your PDF. Now we'll head back over to Canva to export the other type of design. This is the second type of artwork you'll have in Canva, and it doesn't have any editable text. The text you see here is actually an image. To export, click Share, Download, PDF Print. We don't flatten the PDF, but we do choose the CMYK settings if you have the premium Canva option. If not, I'll show you how to get around that later. And you click Download. If you don't pay for Canva and you can't export with CMYK, you can simply share a link with us. So under the heading link shared publicly, choose the setting anyone with a link and make sure it's can edit. Then you copy this link and you can paste it into the website and I'll show you that now. Once you've either exported your artwork or copied the link from Canva, head over to the website and choose a product. Here I've chosen our most popular die cut stickers. Then you enter the size you require and choose a material. Here I'll select our most popular white vinyl. Then choose any quantity and click continue. If you've exported artwork, you'd upload it here. However, if you've copied the link, just skip and you'll get a box here where you can simply copy and paste in that Canva link and this will tell our designers to go and use this link to go and get your artwork. And that's it.